Hello, beautiful people. Food. I hear this all the time and it drives me absolutely crazy. Eating healthy is expensive. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, because you can eat mac and cheese for next to nothing. Um, you can eat ramen noodles for next to nothing. Um, I'm sure there's other things that you can eat for next to nothing. But let me ask you this. How expensive do you think it is to be sick? Several years ago, 2016, I thought I was healthy. Knew I was struggling with some things, but didn't really think too much of it. I mean, I had fatigue, I had brain fog, um, I was emotional. Honestly, thought it was probably menopause. I had hot flashes, I had cold flashes. It, it all in all, it was nothing specific, just kind of all around, just not feeling great. And Come to find out, through hair analysis, I had a lot of things going on, mineral deficiencies and all of that. But before that happened, it was October of 2016. I had been given a heart monitor for 24 hours, went to return the heart monitor, and ended up in the emergency room. Thankfully, I guess I was already at the hospital, so God was watching out for me. Um, they thought I was going to stroke out. That was an awful day. That was an awful couple of hours. I never want to relive that. They gave me a nitro pill and um, they took an arterial blood draw. Oh, dear Lord, did that hurt. And they did that to tell me I had a panic attack. And I was like, really? You had to put me through that pain to tell me I had a panic attack. I could have told you I was in the middle of a panic attack. Doesn't take a rocket science to figure that one out. So, this started a whole gamut of testing. Echocardiograms, EKGs, um, just all these tests. Well, I ended up out of work for two months and short-term disability wouldn't pay because I was not diagnosed with anything. I wasn't technically broken. I'm like, I can't stand for eight hours. I can't remember a conversation. I'm on a heart monitor now for 30 days, but short-term disability would not pay because I wasn't, they couldn't find anything wrong with me. So, I now have no work. I'm paying the COBRA for my insurance. I am paying all of the deductibles for all of these tests. And no income. Now, I have news for you. If you've ever been in this situation, I'm sorry because it sucks. If you haven't, Remember, your bills don't stop coming. Just because you don't have a paycheck, it doesn't mean your bills stop coming. And at the time, I was also in, um, I had a side gig, but it was a party plan type business. Well, if you're not going out and doing parties, you also don't get paid for that. I've changed that up. I do something different now that's not party related, but anyway. That's another, that's a whole nother story. So eating healthy, yeah, it can be expensive. Now, if you've stuck out this long, hear me out. I'm gonna talk a little bit about things you can do to make it not so expensive. But I want you to see the picture of the other side. I want you to see that you're worth it. You're worth keeping healthy. Your family wants you healthy. If you have kids that are at home, 
or if you have grandkids, or if you're single. I was blessed. I had just gotten married. My husband still had a paycheck. Now the insurance was through me, through my bit of the company I worked with, so we had to pay the Cobra, but by the grace of God, we still had a paycheck. We still had income coming in. But what if you're a single mom or a single dad? What if you don't have that option? I want you to think about that. When you tell me that eating healthy is expensive and you just can't afford to do that, I want you to stop and think about that. What do you have to lose by not taking care of you? And I know you probably don't want to hear this, but I want you to know I'm saying this out of love. I'm saying this to you because I've been there. I'm saying this to you because I want you to see that your health is probably the most important thing. Probably the most important thing in your life. Next to God. God's first. No matter what. God's first. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Ask anybody who is sick what their one wish is. Just one. They're going to wish for their health back. You ask somebody that um, is healthy, they have a million things that they want. But that health is huge. Now, I have done so much research in the last six years over wellness in particular. Health, but also wellness. Because to me, all of it kind of goes together. Emotional, physical, mental, um, and spiritual. All of it goes together. If you don't have all four of these, then you're going to feel off. You need to have all four of these. So I have built a course that goes over a lot of it and it is available. Um, I have mastermind groups that are going to be starting um, January of 2023 and there'll be small groups. They're going to be limited to 20 to 25 people because I know that this conversation is not easy for a lot of people mm -hmm. and I don't want anybody to feel like they are... Um, putting their information out to the world. I'm putting my information out to the world. I'm putting it out to you because I want you to know what it's like to feel as good as I'd feel. I didn't always feel this good. I'm getting ready to turn 50. Bless her heart. I think she probably needs glasses, but Bless her heart, I had a lady today tell me that she thought I was in my 30s. I was like, um, no, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. So your health is 100% worth it. 100% worth it. So a few things that you can do. One, you're going to have to decide that you're worth it. And honey, you're worth it. Period. Your family will say you're worth it. Your kids are going to say you're worth it. Your friends are going to say you're worth it. I lost four people last year between October and December. Four. And I know I'm not alone in that. I know there's a lot of people that have lost a lot of people in their lives. So they, you can't control everything. And I'm not saying that they all die because they're not healthy. I'm not saying that. I'm saying people love you. They want you here. Do everything you can. You put on your seatbelt to stay safe in the car. You lock your doors at night. Well, some of us do. I lock mine, but some people here are out in the country and they don't lock their doors. But that's okay. They do things to stay healthy. They stay do things to stay safe. Your health is worth it. 100%. So, a few things you can do. One big thing I do is um, I am not a big fan of breakfast. I like breakfast food. I just don't want to go through all that trouble of eating, cooking breakfast in the morning. It's just not going to happen. 
Um, I have drank meal replacement shakes for years. Um, I finally found one that I really like and actually feel better when I drink it. Um, and you have to price them out. Make sure you're not just buying protein shakes because protein shake is not a meal replacement shake. It needs to be balanced macros. Totally different subject. Just do your research. Um, and if you want information, comment below and I will help you with that because I can show you I've drank so many different ones. But the one that I have, I love. It's less than $4 a meal. You can't even go to McDonald's for less than $4. And if you're getting it for less than $4, it's probably crap. Sorry, but it is. So that covers at least one of my meals. Many times I actually drink it for breakfast and lunch. So right there in a day, I'm spending less than $8 for the meals. And I know, I'm already going to hear it. I have a family to feed. Okay. Do you want to keep your kids healthy? Just asking. Do you want them to be healthy? Do you want to feed them donuts? Do you want to feed them crap? Because they're going to suffer in school. They're going to suffer in the long run. Sorry. Hard truths here. Our shakes are four years old and older. Again, you can do some research on that. Now, for your third meal, dinner, third meal, however you want to call it, whether you eat your main meal at lunch or your main meal at dinner, there are things that you can do. Um, I buy dry beans. Beans are great for you. They're not hard to cook. It's kind of a pretty simple thing in, I mean, it's pennies to, to feed people with them. Um, soups are a great way to add lots of nutrients and not have them be real expensive. Um, you can buy a chunk of, I'm trying to think what it was. I think it's a chuck roast. I think is what it was called. It was beef chuck roast. Um, and okay. When you look at it, you're probably gonna think, oh my gosh, that's so expensive. I made a huge pot of stew with the roast, um, I use canned potatoes. You can buy them cheaper if you want to buy the potatoes and cube them up, but I just wait for the canned potatoes to go on sale. And I like them in soup because they don't break down. But you can get potatoes pretty cheap. I personally like carrots in it. My husband does not, so we don't get carrots in it. Um, an onion and broth. Super easy, relatively inexpensive. Um, you can feed a lot of people. Uh, we make chili. Chili is a great way to do it. And if you need to stretch the chili, um, I make sweet potatoes and I put a sweet potato in my bowl and I put my chili on top of my sweet potato. It's really filling and sweet potatoes are great for you. So there's a, just a few things that you can do to cut your costs. Um, if there's a Costco next to you or an Aldi, plan ahead. Now, I will tell you, I am not good at meal planning. There are some amazing people out there that are good at meal planning. Amazing. I worked with this lady. She had six kids. And most of their life, she was a stay-at-home mom. And her husband made, like, less than $25,000. They owned their house, they owned their car, all of her kids were clothed, and all of them were fed. She was an amazing meal planner. Really, she needs to like teach that because she was that good. So you can go out and you can look for meal plans. What I want to reiterate to you today is that your health is worth it. I want you to know that Unhealthy is expensive. That couple months that I was off, not only did I lose my income, not only was I paying Cobra, not only was I paying for all of the tests that were going on, but we still had bills. 
I never got any of that back. And I honestly was beginning to wonder if I was going to lose my life. And that year, while I was off work, my youngest grandson was born on my birthday. And as I held him, I wondered if I was going to get to see him grow up. Now I know way more, just way more, so much more. Um, it's been six years as of recording. It's been six years and I have the confidence that unless God calls me home, that I am doing everything in my power to be here and to watch him grow up. I've got five grandkids right now and he is the youngest. But that day when I sat and held him, I had heart monitor on. And I didn't know. So when I hear people tell me that getting healthy is expensive, I'm here to tell you not getting healthy can cost you everything. Everything. So if you need help figuring it out and you want to dig a little bit deeper and get a little more information, reach out to me. Don't hesitate. I'll help you. You have a blessed day and know that you are worth it and you are loved.